welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and we are about to start the show. Hopefully I can talk. Just to let you know, you, we might hear some noises today because I. Um, it's just so beautiful here that I opened the doors and uh, let some fresh air in. Yay, fresh air. <laughs> Right, folks? Right? Uh, for those of us who live where it's snowy and we have to basically board or plastic everything up, um, getting that fresh air, that's a thing. That's a real thing. That's all I'm saying. It's a its a whole thing. Okay. A um, couple quick things. Um I, everybody in the chat is asking for songs. I love it. We're going to get to them because there is this montage of a song that's been going on all morning that I cannot stop laughing at. But before we go there, let's get here. Um, this show does air on WSCS and all of their streaming channels and podcasts and um, their YouTube channels, Rude Rangers TV all of their radio stations, podcasts, and streaming channels. Um, so when you're asking questions, let's uh, keep that in mind. And also, uh, this show airs on almost every podcast there is. I know I'm forgetting something and it's okay. I will never reach out to you on any social media, never ever. So please don't get scammed. Please don't. Don't be scammed by that, okay? Um, I want to go straight to um, the chat and answer some of their questions, and then I'm going to go to callers. So uh, Heather asked if there were any songs for her today, and Heather, I'm getting a Kathy. I don't know if it's a grandma, great-grandma, auntie. I don't know, but love is in the air. I can feel it all around. That's your song for the day. And then Genevieve said, song, song, songs. What what are the songs um, today? Oh, Rebecca is above you. I'm so sorry, Genevieve. Rebecca, if there's, uh, if there's songs on the show today, what's mine for today? So Rebecca's song is... Okay. Uh, there's an alarm going off and I'm trying to break it up, block it out. Um, let's go. You can get it if you want it. Um, it's, it's this song, Rebecca. I know the song, but they're only playing this itty bitty, bitty part of it. Let's go. Um, I think the next line is you can get it if you want it. Uh, if I get more of that song, Rebecca, I'm going to bring it to you. And I'm so sorry that that's all I'm getting. But I think the, the message is let's go. Let's get going. Let's. You can get it if you want it. You just want it and go get it. That's the message, Rebecca. Genevieve says, song, song, songs. Genevieve, I love you. Thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you so much. Um, Genevieve, I'm going to play the montage or do the montage of songs on that. But there is a song for you, Genevieve. But before I go to the montage, before I go to your personal song, I'm doing the montage. So all morning, I've been hearing the lyric, why can't we be friends? And then I hear, to the left, to the left. <laughs> Everything you own in a box, to the left. <laughs> and then I hear, why can't we be friends? <laughs> And then I hear, cause you hood though, cause you hood though, cause you really, really, really hood though. <laughs> and then I hear, why can't we be friends? And I am laughing so hard at this. It's almost like, it's like somebody is like saying, yeah, I know I done you dirty, but why can't we be friends? And this is the comebacks that this person is, is um, 
giving them. So that like was cracking me up all morning, by the way, just saying there it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, Genevieve, your song of the day is, um, give me a second here. Seriously. Okay. Genevieve, your song of the day is itsy bitsy spider. The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and tried to ball the rain. There you go, Genevieve. Uh, that should have some kind of significance to you in some way. And I think I know what that means, but it's not for me to just to say what what your meaning is. Okay, and there are so many people coming in. If you are watching on YouTube, please say hi. Get in the chat. If you have a question, if you want it, something healed, finances, love, money, any of it, you guys, you guys, I did this clearing last night. Oh, I'm going to do it for everybody right here, right now. Here it goes. Um, when I use this word, don't let your mind go to the typical place. Okay? Because I did this for me last night. And it was something. All slave contracts and agreements have been cleared, healed, and released. I get a no, so we're going to start clearing, healing, and release that. So we come in with certain agreements, but then I just, I'm not even going to go into that. If you feel it, you feel it. If you know, you know, there's nothing more I can say about that. Sometimes we feel like a slave to our work, to our money, to people. It It, it is not that traditional what we know as that word to be right so there's that it was amazing okay hey everybody i'm gonna go to the first caller when i call your area code please let me know where are you calling from hey patrick um jay francis nancy hey nancy a uh, joy fawn lolly hey lolly uh Oh, Lolly's in Cape Town right now, everybody. Okay, I need to, when I call your area code, please say your name and where you're calling from, your first name and where you're calling from, and then have a question or a connection to the other side available, 205. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. My name is Patricia. I'm calling from Alabama. And I know I spoke to you about this situation with my uncle um he's the 75 year old veteran who had been removed from his home by veterans affairs because my brother moved this woman and children in and they refused to leave um i want to ask you um have they gotten married because um it was ex um this is supposed to be something he's trying to use to keep her in the home um getting married to her do you feel that or sense that around the two a union no um as a matter of fact it's bluff or fraud um even if he does mm. okay so this is what i'm gonna say he might be saying that he did or he's going to it doesn't matter it doesn't matter um, I do feel like this is going to end with a court order and uh, um, just I'll just leave it at court order. I do feel like they are going to fight tooth and nail to keep that residence or to be able to stay in that residence. But somebody has to bring the hammer down hard on them. Stop playing footsies with them or tootsies with them. Um Someone thinks whomever is handling this thinks they can use like love and logic on them, but they are straight up. Um, please don't anybody be offended by this word. They are straight up shystery type of energy. They're trying to scam in a big way here. Um, and they only care about themselves. So whoever's handling this, whoever's doing the one on one with them, who's ever doing the. Um, telling them they have to leave they they can't even say that the brother can stay they have to say now the brother has to go 
because once once mm -hmm. yeah. the, once the male is put in the position of he's going to lose his thing, he'll start to do what's right, but he's going to slow walk it. So what you have, what has to be done here yeah. is whoever is handling this, just stop playing with these people, go to court, get an eviction started and get them out because the longer it takes for that court order or that eviction, eviction to be started and served, just the longer the whole process is going to take. Get their butts out of there. They don't belong there. And they're, what they're doing is a travesty and just a shame. And I feel like, gosh, it just you need whoever's talking to the person in this house, they need to say, we don't care if you're married. We don't care if these are your biological. We want you all gone. They just need to like lay a line and not cross that line and not waver and not have this be a negotiation because who's ever in that house thinks they're very, very slick and they think they're very, they're going to win. They're, 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 they're constantly maneuvering. Gosh, darn it. If they maneuver that hard at work, and money and like an actual <laughs> business. Could you imagine all these people out here like coming up with these scams? If they put it towards something legit, could yeah. you imagine where they would be in life? But no, they got to go skeezy with it, don't they? It, it, like in yeah. that song. Yeah, she would. She would own her own house. But you're you're absolutely right. It's the VA that is um we've, we've we we just left the district attorney's office on monday so you're right what we're doing is called an ejectment and not eviction because they're not on the deeds or any utility so that would be the landlord tenant would be the eviction but it's ejectment because it is a situation where people are living in a house that have no ties financially their names are not on d papers or utilities so they are just people in his place that now refuse to leave and so since they are not tied to anything to the house then we have to eject, eject them out yeah eject, eject them. that's what it's described to me so we did go to district attorney's office we got the paperwork submitted we have the police department, we have um, veterans affairs statement, and then we have family and neighbors statement. So those are our complaints. And then we put all the evidence as far as pictures go. Um, so we, yeah, we, we submitted yeah. all of that and um, they are going to send out the sheriff to serve them. Uh, and they are in the process of uh, turning the lights off, all the utilities that they Oh my this gosh! Is, this, is this is a this whole is thing. Do, but this is the woman who wants. This this is the woman that wants to keep the house. This is the woman who has spoke it out. You know, the name everybody is saying she speaks it out. You know, one of those things where if you speak it out in a in a in a in the, um, in the universe, you manifest it. So she keeps saying, "This is my house." You know, yeah. not my uncle's house. It's her house. You okay. Know, so. Uh, and then they say she's practicing some type of witchcraft, you know, there. Uh, so it's it's just sad. It's sad, like you said, Tony, but we are on it. They're not playing with them. You know, the Veterans Affairs, they are really, uh, and, and they are telling my brother, uh, since he didn't get her out in 30 days, now he is part of them putting him out also. And, um, Calling up uh, adult protective services, they got them in and in, in, um, involved. So he he just don't know what he's gotten himself into. Well, but, um, yeah, you're, you're totally right. Here's what I'm gonna say: in in different states, it's called different things. And I think everything you're doing is completely 100 percent beautiful and accurate and good. I love the way you're doing it. There's this little thing. I'm not gonna say a lot about it but at some point everybody leaves the house either to go grocery shopping to go out to dinner and i know it's difficult to know other people's schedules but 
in some cases, some family members, once everybody's out the house, the family members would go in and grab up as much of their stuff, change the locks, put their stuff literally on the street, completely off the property. Now, I'm not recommending. Wait, let me be clear here. I'm not. I'm not telling anybody to do anything, but I have heard this has been done before. Yeah. They go in as soon as that car drives away. They go in, they switch up those locks. They take as much of their yeah. stuff out, put it literally in the street. I'm not talking at the curb. I'm talking in the street so it's completely off the property and not on anybody else's property yeah. and call it, have a good day, ma'am. Have a good day. And then they can't get back in the house and what they're going to do because the locks have been changed. Okay. I'm just yeah. saying. Oh, we have a key. It, well, as soon as. I love that. I understand. You understand what's being understand. said. <laughs> you're picking yeah. up what they're putting down, yeah. right? You're, you're just picking up what they're putting down. I'm just saying if that were my uncle. Yeah. I, I'm not saying I would do that, but I have a lot of brothers that wouldn't hesitate to do that in a minute. <laughs> but on that happy uh, note, yes, absolutely. on that note, thank you for keeping us updated. There is going to be a victory thank here. I hope. And since the sheriff is already involved, love, if you do go in and if somebody would change the locks and then they call the police or the sheriff, they would say, you don't live here. <laughs> you, you just you don't live here. <laughs> what what you talking about? I, I've got paperwork that says you do not live here. <laughs> bye bye. Yes. Bye. bye. Yes. I love it. Yes. <laughs> okay, we can do right. things okay. like we can Thank be you. nice until we are smart. Okay, there's a thing of yeah. we tried to yeah. be nice. Now we're going to be smart, and we are we are not going to play with you, yeah. child. We are not going to play with you, child. Anyway, that's what I have for you, love. Exactly. <laughs> I hope you and again absolutely. thank you so much Tony you are welcome you have an absolutely amazing day okay <laughs> you as well thank I you I love you love you too sweetie you have a good day sweet girl thank you <laughs> okay thank you, you guys um again that is not me advising them what to do I'm just saying what some people might do just you know like scrappy do just saying just saying okay gonna go <laughs> um gonna go to six three zero six three zero what's your name and where are you calling from hi tony calling from illinois it's lisa how are you today hey lisa i'm doing amazing how can i help you today Good. I love your singing as usual. <laughs> I don't know why, but it always makes me smile. Thank you. So keep on singing every time. Cheers um, to yeah. that. So I just to check. What? Mm. Sorry, uh, I said cheers. Okay. Can you hear me okay? I can. I'm so sorry. I said cheers can you hear to me? the I can. How can I help you, love? Okay, yeah, no, I just want to know, what do you see with uh, a move for me this year? I'm looking for a property. So far, no luck because of what's going on with the market. And I'm supposed to get a car shortly, so it'll make it easier. Um, but I just wonder what you see with it. Okay, the first thing. I don't know, I'm a little frustrated. Yeah, it is. The market is really frustrating, and I, I kind of feel like I know what's going on with the market, but... Um, so we are supposed to be flooded with foreclosures and such right now. But what's happened is mortgage companies and um, real estate companies have started their own rental properties and BlackRock. And if you know who BlackRock is, enough said, they're going in and buying blocks of properties and anything that comes so we're just not getting the prop the mark the properties are there they're just not coming onto the market i do feel though for you in august september is going to be the time keep looking until then but august september is going to be the time that you are going to find 
the property. I'm also going to recommend if this is for you or somebody else listening, go to Sheriff's Auctions. Look at the listings in Sheriff's Auctions and see if something doesn't pop there. Um, there might be something that comes up there. And remember, Sheriff's Auctions are people who like uh, city auctions are people maybe who didn't pay their taxes. Um, so the mortgage companies don't necessarily have the opportunity to repossess possess the homes. And also like anybody who was like breaking the law, kind of their homes, like, you know, those dealers and stuff, <laughs> um, their homes, when they get arrested, all of their property goes to sheriff's auctions. That's cars, that's homes, that's everything, businesses. So uh, for, for okay. whoever this is for, whether it's for you, my beautiful friend, or somebody else listening, look at the sheriff's auctions in the area that you want to be in and the city auctions in the areas that you want to be in. Become familiar with them and see if something doesn't pop there. I'm also going to say, oh, I'm also going to say August, September, is when you are going to find the property that you are looking for, but do not, um, do not over, like do not over bid or go over budget on this property. The property that you are looking for is going to be well within your means. Okay. Oh, that's funny you say that because you know, I was seeing things come up that were more and I said to myself, I just can't do that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I'm buying first and then I'm selling. It's interesting you're saying that. And it just wouldn't be a good idea since I'm retired and all this stuff, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to just wait until, like you said, that comes within my budget. Do you think that the property that I own will sell okay? Um, I'm going to first buy oh. and then oh my like, gosh. move in. Yeah. And then sell and then paint and sell, you know? You know what? Your property is going to sell so quickly you're barely going to have it on the market and it's going to be getting offers. Okay. Um, and again, it goes back to, there's just not a lot of inventory out there right now, right around June. I feel like there's going to be more inventory, but right now, um, you know, just keep looking yeah. and see what you come up with. Okay. Yep, and I'll wait until, you know, like you said, I'm not going to overbid. I can't nope. do that. I just can't. And then also, you know, wait till the right property comes along, hopefully. But I just don't know. I just feel very kind of sad in a way because I feel like I looked on and off for a long time, and I just don't know why it's never worked out for me. But well, I guess it wasn't the right time, you know. I put a bid on one. I lost it. Another one, something really bad happened, and I wasn't able to move at that point. Yeah. So here's my, what we want doesn't always come when we want it. So patience, if we can be patient, we can get everything we want at the time that's right. So just be patient um, and you're going to be amazed what can show up for you. Okay. Okay, thank you, Miss Tony. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day, okay, love? Yes, you too. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm going to uh, 203, you are next. I'm going to go to the chat, though, and I'm going to answer a couple of things on the chat. Uh, let's see. Kavita, hey, Kavita. It's your birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to Kavita. Happy birthday, Kavita. It's her birthday week. So I would love a reading about love and travel. Thank you. Well, Kavita, what I can say to you is you are going to be making many, many um, holidays or vacations throughout different times of this year. Like every three or four months, you're going to be going someplace. I hear Spain is a potential, uh, a potential, um, Land landing for you, like you, 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 you potentially could end up in Spain. Um, if that does come up, seriously consider it. There might be something there for you. Uh, and then, as far as love goes, 
as soon as you are ready, it's going to happen. Now, if we think, and I'm going to say this, and I've been in this spot, so Kavita, I get this 100%. If we are in a spot, male, female, whomever, where we think we're just not ready for love, like we need to heal or we need to do this or we need to be at a certain financial point, that right person could be right in front of us and we won't allow it to work or it, it just won't work because we are not ready. Um, as soon as we are ready as soon as we know we are perfect as we are, we don't need to heal, we don't need more, we are it, um, then that person will show up and can start. And for you, Kavita, one of the things is you have things that that you consider, I need to fix this first, I need to do this first, or, I wish I was like this, but it, it, essentially they are excuses and you need to and I get them. I, I get that. That's just a fear of relationships for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening, watching, re-watching. Um, all fear with relationships have been healed, cleared, and released. And I get a no, so we're going to heal, clear, release that. Holy guacamole. Okay, Kavita, happy birthday. I hope that's helpful for you. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? All righty, we are going to go to 914. 914, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Catherine. I'm calling from New York. Hey, Catherine, how can I help you today? Um, I first of all have to thank you because something you said um, was said to me practically verbatim as that how you had said to me once. So I have to thank you, first of all. You're amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. It all comes from above. I would love to take credit, but it comes through me for you. And I'm so happy that it did. I'm really grateful that it did. How can I help you, love? Thank you. Yes. Glory to God. I understand what you're saying. Thank you. Um, I'm looking to do um, an event in June. And um, I haven't settled in on the um, venue as of yet. Um, there's one venue I'm looking at. The, um, the property manager's name is Laura. And another venue that I'm looking at, the property venue's name is Gia. Um, so it's just wondering if you can see if either one of these places is the right location or do I keep looking? Okay. I feel like Gia is stronger than Laura, but I would say there's another venue coming in that might be really, really good for you. It might have a little bit more of what you're looking for. So as of right now, Gia would be the most positive uh, one. However, I do feel like there's another one coming in. Okay. One that I don't know one, of yet. Yeah, Let's one, say, that, one that I haven't come across. Yeah. One that you're not quite aware of yet. And I feel like, I don't know why I keep hearing the word financial, financial. So maybe this, this next venue might be more it, financially, it will work out for you better, whether that means more people, uh, you make more on it or it costs less or both. <laughs> okay. I love you guys so stinking much. Go make miracles. Please go make some miracles in your life. Until next time, have an absolutely amazing and blessed day.